I'm passionate about science and research because I'm passionate about discovery and I enjoy researching and discovering new things. In the early years of university I studied uh, predominantly chemistry and physics. In my postdoctoral research years we continued on with um, chemistry based research and branched out into the biological sciences as well. Our area of research primarily focuses on being able to engineer materials with unique features and to be able to do that we need to have control over the nanoscale property of those materials and we often have a biological rationale for the design of our materials such that we can influence biological processes. And so for example, how can we engineer particles that can navigate um, a biological system, for example, and then release a drug um, at a given area? Some of the biggest achievements over the past five years have been to uh, assemble a multidisciplinary team that covers the physical sciences and biological sciences. I'm inspired about being able to work with a dynamic team of talented and highly creative and innovative researchers and seeing their development as they progress into uh, new job opportunities and many of those in my team have also uh, gone on to um, establish their own independent academic careers. The Victoria Prize creates um, a wonderful opportunity to showcase our research to the scientific community and also the public and to create um, awareness for the type of research that we're passionate about. On a personal level, I'm very pleased to be the recipient of one of the Victoria Prizes and I give credit to many of the talented and young individuals who have worked with me over the years um, to be able to be in a position to receive such a prize. Victoria has a significant and very strong um, presence in, in international research. Being able to have access to um, different disciplines um, and so having a multidisciplinary team is, is critical in our um, areas of research. Having significant funding such that we can tackle large-scale research initiatives and be globally competitive and also being able to continually innovate the support of research through government is, is critical in, in, in a number of ways. The first one is the message it sends to researchers, in particular young people who um, are thinking about embarking on a um, scientific career. Um, and support is also crucial in that it, it helps many major initiatives in the physical sciences and also the, um, the life sciences. I'm Frank Caruso from the University of Melbourne and I'm deeply honoured to be the recipient of the 2014 Victoria Prize in the Physical Sciences.